All right, so this is going to be a quick overview of um, how you can calculate mean and standard deviation using the calculator. And as you can see in the video, I'm using a TI-83. Um, it's going to be similar for an 84 and 86 or any other TI that you might have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And so this is the data that you guys received in class. Um, so this is going to be, I'm going to use the same data in the TI-83 to um, calculate means and standard deviation. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my calculator, let's go ahead and turn it on. Um, and we're going to enter in this data, um, the thickness of shells in this, of the snail. We've got our units in millimeters and we've got all of our numbers, so we've got the thickness of 12 um, shells that come from a habitat with crabs and 12 that come from habitat with, without crabs. So let's go ahead and put them into our lists. So if we go into um, stat and the, the first choice is edit, so I'm going to go ahead and click on enter or you can click on one. And it looks, it looks like we've already got some data in there, so let's go ahead and clear that out. So if I go up to L1 and type in clear or click on clear and then click enter, it should clear out my list. And it did so. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in this data. Um, and, then, and then we'll see um, what we need to do next. So my first data point is 1.02. Next is 0 0.88. Oh, that didn't work. OK, so we've got 0.88 as our second data point. 0.75, 0 0.94, and go ahead and enter in um, the whole set of data without crabs with me, and I'll catch up with you once I finish this. Okay, so uh, let's double check this list because um, it's very easy to make mistakes and I already spot one. So let's go ahead and go to the top. So 1.02 is correct. Should have 0 0.88, 0 0.75, 0 0.94. Should be 0.81. So I made a mistake, so I'm going to go ahead and type in over top of that 0.81. And when I hit enter, it should replace that point, which it did. So 0.81. 0 0.98, 0 0.79, 0.83, 0.86, 0.93, 0.91, and 1.05. To make sure I've got my 12 data points, it tells me here L1, they're 12, this is the 12th entry. So we've got all of list one, or my data with the thickness of shells with crabs. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my uh, data for the shell thickness without crabs into list two. So go ahead and do that, and I'll catch up with you. Okay, so I got my data points in there. Let's double check those. Oops. Okay. 0 0.71, 0 0.78, 0 0.55, 0 0.42, 0 0.61, 0.58, 0.49, 0.33, 0.36, 0.82, 0.62, and 0.54. Okay, so we got all of our data in there, which is fantastic. Um, so now we've got our, so again, we've got our data in L1, 
which is our data with crabs, and L2 is our data without crabs. So now let's go ahead and calculate our mean and standard deviations, and we're going to have to do this for each of our two uh, sets of data, or each of our lists here. So we go back into stat, and instead of edit, I want to go over here to calc. So I click on the right arrow, and the first choice is one variable statistics, which is what we're going to go to, because um, there's only one variable that's different between these two groups, and that's their habitat. So we're going to go to one variable stats, go ahead and click on enter. I've got one variable stats here and I want to tell it that I want to, to analyze list one. So I go to second and one. So again, we're going to go to second and then L1, which is here in yellow, right above the number one. So we went to second and then we've got yellow options, so we click on one. So we've got L1. We're going to click on enter. And what it gives us here is the mean which is the x with the bar over top. So our mean for the data with crabs is 0.895 or 8.896. Um, and our standard deviation um, is actually gives us two different standard deviation values. We've got sx and sigma x. And the value that we're going to use is the sx value because this value is um, has been calculated using our correct degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1. So it's been divided by 11. We've got 12 points, so 12 minus 1 is 11. This is divided by 11 um, because we've got 12 data points. Sigma x has been divided by 12, um, but our formula that we've been using and that you need to know for IB is over n minus 1. So we're going to use sx as our standard deviation value. Um, and here's our n value, 12. So n minus 1 would be 12 minus 1. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and do that again for list two. So I went back to stat, I'm going to calculate, um, go to one, I'm going to choose list two this time, and it's giving me a mean of 0.567 or 0.568 if you round it, and my standard deviation is 0.154. Um, and so now you need to figure out how to graph that and how to analyze that. Okay.